Stage four, Idahoans have grown to know this stage of Governor Brad Little's Idaho Rebounds plan for two months now. That's because since entering stage four in mid-June, the state has failed the metrics to move on. Little announced this at a press conference earlier this afternoon. Our Joy Prechtel was there and explains why the state failed this time. Governor Brad Little said that there are some encouraging signs when looking at the metrics to see how COVID-19 is affecting the state because some of them are continuing to trend downward. But the state will remain in stage four due to hospital admissions of confirmed and suspected COVID-19 patients. We're seeing downward trend in overall confirmed cases, test positivity rates, and emergency department visits of patients with COVID-like illnesses. We have su sufficient ventilators, ICU beds, and hospital PPE statewide. While Idaho is making good progress in many categories, hospital admissions continues to be the problem. This is the reason why Idaho failed to pass out of stage four two weeks ago too. The state wants to see fewer than eight people admitted to the hospital per day with COVID-19. A quick look at this graph shows that didn't happen. Now the state actually tweaked this metric from the last time. Two weeks ago, they wanted to see fewer than four admissions of confirmed COVID-19 cases. The reason it's gone from four to eight is we've actually added suspected and confirmed now. Um, more closely mirroring the data we're showing on our website about number of suspected and confirmed cases in the hospital, that hospital burden. Dr. Christine Hahn, who's the state epidemiologist, and Governor Brad Little said the state will continue to tweak metrics to make sure they're using the right ones. We are constantly looking at does that metrics really measure our healthcare capacity going forward? I really felt like they were great metrics initially, but now things are changing. Overall, Governor Little says Idaho is trending in the right direction, though, in responding to COVID-19. In Boise, Joey Prechtel, Idaho's News, Channel 7. As you saw, Governor Little's press conference took place at the Idaho Food Bank, where he also announced that the committee overseeing the state's coronavirus relief funding has approved more than $2.5 million to help the food bank address the increased need for food aid.